the next two weeks. Two weeks. Nevadans need to operate in the stay-at-home 2.0 mentality to get things under control so our public health response infrastructure can catch up. And that was Governor Steve Sisolak earlier this week urging everybody to stay home for the next two weeks. And now we enter our first weekend since the stay-at-home 2.0 order. And Valley businesses are bracing for a drop off in business because of this. Yeah, 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chen right now is live in downtown Las Vegas with more on how businesses they are preparing for either a slowdown or perhaps even a complete shutdown. Jeremy, this is news a local business owners did not want to confront. Absolutely, Todd and Tricia and businesses here for the past few months have been making lots of adjustments in order to comply with the social distancing guidelines. And right now there's a lot of anxiety of what could come next. Customers are seated at a bar at Jackson's Bar and Grill on a Friday afternoon, a welcoming sight for owner Brian Slipok. He's not sure how long that will last. It just seems as if um, we're going to be shut down again that he's leading it in that direction. Ever since Governor Sisolak made his stay at home request Tuesday, he fears businesses may be forced to shut down again. He's already seeing a slower weekend. I can tell you it started already. Um, our normal customer counts down. Um, our restaurants are down. Our gambling's down. Everything's down. So I see people already staying at home. The uncertainty has made planning for Slipok difficult, especially preparing Thanksgiving meals later this month. We're stuck with, you know, 80 turkeys and, and everything else that we have. Do I go forward with that knowing that we're going to be open? You know, these are, these are the worries that I have as, as how to plan. For Wendy Forrest, co-owner of Craft House, the governor's request was no surprise. The first thing that goes through your head is here we go again and panic. Um, and then I think well, we've already done this before, and it's it's not really a surprise. We all knew that a second wave was coming. She's already made adjustments to prepare for a weekend of change. Expecting more um, online orders. So uh, with the first um, shutdown, we created a curbside touchless to go system. So people order through the website. Forrest already has plans in place for a robust takeout system and outdoor dining in case restrictions are placed. There's still some anxiety, but she's encouraging people to stay home while also supporting local businesses safely. Whether you order to go or you pick up curbside, um, those efforts do make a big difference to keeping our local and community owned, um, our community thriving. And we are still more than a week from possibly hearing from Governor Sisolak about any future plans. But businesses say right now they're trying to do the best they can. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News.